What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and it is that time of year once again where I do my Joe Talks Wrestling room tour. Now, not too many major things have changed since last year, but there has been a few changes that are worth mentioning. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a long one. So let's get right in to my 2023 Joe Talks Wrestling room tour. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, my bedroom door, just the same as it was last year, literally no change there. Let's move in to the Joe Talks Wrestling Room. Now, turning round, once again, there has been absolutely no change from last year on this door area of my room. The same GTA 4, 5, 4, and bully posters up there. This is where we get the first changes on this wall right here. Here Now, guys, if you look up here, you can see this is a spreadsheet. And you may be wondering, what's this for? This was for El Jantonio's first rumble. This was the running order of the rumble. Uh, breaking kayfabe here, so forgive me. But there we go. That was from the first Royal Rumble that El Jantonio featured in. I definitely wanted to keep that right here. This is the match card for the first show that El Jantonio was on. Obviously, square one rumble right there. That's where he featured. My Thunderdome plaques, nothing's changed there. They are exactly the same. The Hell in a Cell one, the Joe Talks Wrestling ones. My backyard tights and my backyard match list. That hasn't changed because, of course, I'm retired from backyard. I'm training pro now. These ticket stubs with photos of me when I was younger from WWE shows. These YouTube awards. This is all the same. The only two changes now are this right here. This is the poster for UBW, The Floor is Lava 5. This is with the iconic clip of El Jantonio cross-bodying Adonis Payne off the top rope and pinning him despite it being a rumble match. You know, you've all seen it. Roll the clip. There we go. That was the poster from that show. And then moving down, we have got a massive Ultimate British Wrestling Square One New Year's Resolutions, a massive poster. This is one of the ones that goes on like lampposts uh, and you see out in public. Of course, it is El Jantonio's first poster so there was no chance in hell I was not going to pick this up for the room you may be wondering well surely the JTW like thing was here before don't worry we'll get to that it's still in the room photo of me Kip and Mini King photo of me and Simon Miller got this JTW light board it doesn't light up anymore unfortunately but it's still a cool piece nonetheless that's my work bag if we move now across we've got Mini Joe these posters exactly the same as last year but moving down this is where we get another change this is my CRT TV for all my retro games. But what it's actually sat on now is its own little custom unit. Now, this is, I think, an IKEA Kallax. Um, Now, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but this is just a unit with, like, two big squares. And you can buy dividers for them that you literally just slot in. They're like a massive capital H letter. But you can only buy them in white. The unit is black. I spray painted them black and they look really good. There's a little bit of paint chip here and there, as to be expected, but this is what I've got my Nintendo Entertainment System, my Nintendo 64 and my PlayStation 1 all hooked up to my CRT TV right here. Tripod there, some Febreze, my running shoes. Uh, moving along once again, there's been a few changes to this little bit right here. My Nintendo Switch, just some general stuff. That's my, uh, that's El Jantonio's Cray City ticket right there. PS3 controller, Nintendo Switch thing, wireless charger. Moving down, a PlayStation 3. This was a new addition last year. My sister bought me that for Christmas. Uh, I've always wanted a PS3. I've been wanting to platinum some games on the PS3 and have them show up on my actual PlayStation dashboard. Uh, so I thought, you know, to do that, I have to buy a PS3. I was always an Xbox 360 kid, as you can see, it's over there. But right now, I'm using the PS3. I've just completed Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 again because... I felt nostalgic, and why not? I have the PS3 now, so I might as well make use of it. PlayStation 3, original Wii, Xbox 360, down there we just got some resistance bands, the GameCube, and the PlayStation 2 right there. Moving across, some old shoe boxes filled with general tat, my normal games, few PS5, few PS4, uh, a couple PS3, and then two Xbox 360 right there. If we move up now, we've got my keyboard and mouse, Moving up again, this bit of my desk, my PS4, PS4 controller there. I had a red one, but I, uh, I gave it to my girlfriend Ellie because hers broke. So obviously she plays PS4 as well. 
Uh, this side, nothing major here. This is basically where I just put all my miscellaneous tat, um, my YouTube book, you know, right there, my idea book, my car keys, my wallet, switch cases, chargers, USBs, all that's there. My computer's down here. This is a fierce Iron Wing Nebula. I've had it since 2016. It's still going pretty strong. So, you know, touch wood. Uh, I don't need to upgrade just yet. Moving up again, we've got my mini fridge, my PlayStation camera, some aftershave, stuff like that. My monitor um, right there with obviously my speakers. This is my setup. This is where I sit. Um, and yeah, that's that bit. Moving across once again, we go up. We've got these posters. Nothing's changed there. This JTW print is now here. It used to be where that square one poster is, but it has been moved to there. I didn't want to get rid of it. Uh, I, I am trying to distance myself from obviously JTW now, but um, it's one of them things that it's such a cool print that I just I just couldn't put it away. Like when you've got something that cool, it needs to be out. Do you know what I mean? Moving up again, we've got the newest addition uh, and probably the biggest addition to the room. I've mentioned previously in a video that in this last year, my girlfriend and I have got into Amiibo collecting. Now, I had a few Amiibo before, but really last year uh, we went all out and, you know, we got some for re really good prices on car boots. And, you know, we bought some from shops when we were on holiday and it just all became a little thing that her and I do together. I've even made a few customs. As you can see, this is my custom Me Brawler Amiibo based off of the Me Brawler from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I will put a picture up of my Me Brawlers uh, alongside this so you can see if I've done a good job or not. I was going to make a video while I was making it, but I was really unsure about the results, so I left it. Uh, moving along, we've got my Toad, a custom Toadette that I made, a custom Birdo that I made, Yoshi, a custom Mar a Baby Mario and Baby Luigi, Luigi, my custom Me Brawler, a custom Super Mario cereal, Mario, Wedding Mario, Daisy, Peach, Bowser, Bowser Jr. Moving up to the second shelf, Boo, Goomba, Cooper Trooper, custom Red Cooper Trooper, Waluigi, Inkling Boy, uh, Young Link, Super Mario from like 30 year anniversary, I think it was, Wario, um, then Inkling Girl, Cat Peach, Do uh, Diddy Kong, and Cat Mario. I've never actually gone through them like a list before. I was getting really tongue-tied there. But there you go, that's pretty much my Amiibo shelf. I've said I wanted to complete the Super Mario collection. I think I've only got about four left to do. Um, and thankfully, they're one of them things that if you collect, they hold their value. So I can sell all of these on in the future uh, for pretty much the price I paid, if not more, just because it's one of them things. You know, I'm always into collecting things that hold their value, that are more of an investment. But yeah, that's my Amiibo shelf. It's pretty cool. It sits just above there. This used to be the fan art wall. As you can see, I have absolutely ruined my wall, which my dad was not very happy about uh, with blue tack from the fan art. But there you go. Uh, you know, that happens sometimes. There's the Amiibo shelf just above the desk. If I look here now, we've got the photos of me and Ellie. These were here last year. Nothing's changed. Moving along once again. This is my actual bookshelf. This is an Ikea shelf. I can't remember the actual name of it. I've had it years now. Right here, we've got this really cool custom El Jantonio bobblehead Funko Pop that Ellie made me. It's absolutely awesome. Some of my games here with their custom spines that I do. I, I don't like having games with generic bland spines. Uh, you know, 3DS is an exception because they're all like it, but there you go. That's what I mean by bland spines. I prefer them to be like that. You know, I've constantly been updating these, update them every year. If I get a higher quality image or, you know, something's missing or just a little something that irks me, I, uh, I do tend to change it, but there you go. We've got all of my GameCube games, a couple of Wii games, Switch games, a few N64 games that I've got in Universal Game Cases, my DS and 3DS collection, a Duff Energy drink. This right here, you may be thinking, what on earth is that? My four-year-old niece, Tilly, you've seen her on the channel before, made me this little controller out of a rock that she found when she was at school, which I think is really, really cute. Um, it's based, I think, off the Nintendo Switch based on the colorway, as uh, I let her play Mario Kart on my Switch a lot. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. So I've put it on the you know Nintendo shelf because it's got that Nintendo Switch look to it. Moving down a shelf, we've got my 21 and 0 Undertaker urn. This cool Seth Rollins in Joe Anthony backyard attire uh, that Ellie made me for Valentine's Day a couple years ago, which is awesome. If I move this out of the way, you can see I've got a few PS2 games here with custom spines, a Joe Talks Wrestling light box. Moving that out of the way, we've got all of my wrestling games along with some miscellaneous Xbox 360 games right there. Quickly put that back gently, put him back. Moving down one more shelf is the Harry Potter shelf. I haven't updated it at all since last year. It's pretty much stayed exactly the same. 
other than uh, obviously we went to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child for my birthday last year, did Ellie and I, so I've got a programme for that show right there. That's the only new feature really. All of my first edition Harry Potter books, a couple of these books um, which Ellie got me, they're the Hogwarts Library um, first edition set. Harry Potter DVDs, a couple of Fantastic Beast DVDs. I got a few ones right here um, and just some miscellaneous stuff. That's from the studio tour. Obviously that program from The Cursed Child, A Chocolate Frog. Yeah, massive Harry Potter fan. Haven't managed to play Hogwarts Legacy yet, but uh, I believe Ellie's gonna get it me for my birthday. So hopefully I can play it then. Down a shelf, we've just got a whole ton of DVDs. I don't even know. I, I couldn't even tell you if anything's been added this year because I just, I don't even know which DVDs I've got. I can't tell you the amount of times I've gone into charity shops and thought, oh yeah, I'll pick this up. And then Ellie's turned around to me and like, you've got that at home. I don't keep track of them. So I do end up buying duplicates sometimes. Moving down, some wrestling books. Uh, also, we've got three of the Minecraft sacred texts right there. Um, an ocarina behind that that I never learned to play. Money in the Bank briefcase that I made a few years back, uh, which is quite cool. I'm not taking it with me, but I am going to Money in the Bank this year at the O2 in London. But yeah, that can stay at home. I don't fancy lugging that around. A foam roller, um, you know, when, you do, when you're training to be a wrestler, your body aches a lot. So this has helped me out. My back, my legs, uh, a massive, massive time in this last year, uh, just rolling out the muscles and, you know, trying to, try to be better basically, because you ache like hell when you train to be a wrestler. It's just one of them things uh, that's to be expected when you start training. Moving up, we have the JTW World Heavyweight Championship, uh, aka it's just a fan do big gold. It's non-logo, so I used it as a world title. When I was in JTW, I kind of regret it. I wish if I could go back in time, I'd have just had a custom one made, or I myself would have made a custom one, but it is what it is. Switching again, the JTW Intercontinental Championship. I've got my side plates on there. I know I wasn't the final champion, but it's my belt, and I do what I want with it. There you go. Moving the chair out of the way, we are now moving into the second half of my room. The, uh, the first half is from this pillar to this pillar. We are now taking a step back. This is the first section right here, what we've just seen. The second section now, this is new. And uh, I forgot that this is new because I put this second Ikea Detolf in, I think about a week, if even less than I did the last room tour. So I have two Ikea Detolfs now. Let's start on this one. PlayStation 5 on the top, it takes up the whole Ikea Detolf. I've got a, um, I think it's a Seagate four terabyte HDD hard drive there. That's for all my PS4 games. Inside is a two terabyte SSD um, by, uh, the name eludes me, I can't remember. But yeah, this, this PS5 has been fully upgraded. I think I've spent about eight to 900 pounds just upgrading this thing. Um, moving down, oh, it's also got a new fan in it as well. Uh, 16 blade fan, it originally had an eight blade fan, but that thing um, overheated on me. So I had to replace that too. Anyway, moving down, spinner championship right there, United States championship right there. ECW title and a blue universal strap. Going back up to the top of this one, we have got my Wii U that Ellie got me for Christmas uh, last year. I never had a Wii U um, and I always wanted to play my Wii games, but you know, it's on old cables and I plan on upgrading my TV at some point this year. So I needed something that could play Wii games that was on HDMI and I didn't want to, I didn't want to mess around too much. And Ellie was like, well, why don't you just get a Wii U? You know, you never had one. And I was like, that's a very good idea. So she got me thinking about it. And then lo and behold, Christmas came around and she bought me it. So she bought me it. We got the Wii U gamepad, two black Wii controllers with motion plus inside, a black nunchuck, and then the Wii U console. The only downside to this glossy black finish is my God, it is a dust and fingerprint magnet i cleaned this today and you can see dust already starting to go back on it but that's just the nature of having something glossy and black i suppose moving down the wwe championship the current version the custom eco-friendly one that basically kick-started my channel in here we have el jantonio's gear uh don't know why it's in my room but you know wink wink there's el jantonio's gear uh the boots and then the old set right there this is a custom set obviously that el jantonio had made it's got the the name on the back you know it's basically the exact same design as the old backyard set but that one is absolutely ruined uh the only time i think el jantonio will ever wear that is if he's doing any skits in public or you know something like that where you don't want to ruin your pro gear uh, that's when I think he will put that back on. That's why it's been kept. But there you go. There's my two Ikea Detolfs with the PS5 and Wii U on top. 
Moving over now, my TV, exactly the same as last year. I need to upgrade it desperately, um, but you know, it's just a, a case of money right now. I've only just bought a new phone. So TV's gonna have to wait, maybe at some point later on in the year. This is Ellie's stuff over here, uh, her drawers, so I will not be going through them because that is hers. She's got one there and one there also. We've got a mushroom, we've got a builder bear that she got me. Um, my pro wrestling gear bag for training. I'm actually injured at the moment. Uh, so I haven't trained in like six weeks. So my cardio and, you know, just everything is has gone down the drain at the moment. But, you know, that's what happens uh, when you get injured. I will be getting back on it sooner rather than later. But, yeah, that's just boots, knee pads and, you know, just normal stuff, a towel, whatever you would bring to training. Here's my windowsill. Nothing different there. Of course, the trampoline is gone. It went in the last video. This is what the garden looks like now. It's just a bare backyard again. Pretty much no character anymore. Uh, it's snowing as well, which is interesting. But, you know, that's that. Don't really need to show you that because it has no purpose anymore. Chest of drawers, once again, for Ellie. We've got my iPad, my Amazon Echo, a collage of photos that we've got up there. Some kickboxing certificates, the YouTube Promo Championship, my custom Deku Shield from Zelda. Down here, I've got a fan, my PS5 controller dock, uh, this MagSafe 3-in-1 charger that I bought, PlayStation Pulse headset, um, moving along, obviously, the JTW Tag Team Championships up there. Uh, I was the last person to hold that, which is fun. On here, just some uh, cushions and pillows. I've got a Snorlax there, a donut pillow that I got from Universal Orlando, and this really cool shell, uh, red shell cushion that Ellie got me for Christmas, which is awesome. But that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, there's been no massive major changes this year. Obviously, there's a few things up there, but we don't go into what's up there because it's it's just a bunch of tat, really. It's a Yoshi Egg Light, and that box is full of old VHS tapes. I had all my family tapes converted to digital for Christmas this year. Uh, Gryffindor flag there as well, and that's basically it. I don't think I'm missing anything, um, but, you know, I'm sure I probably have. I'm only human, so it's one of them things, but there you go. Boom, there you go. That was the 2023 Joe Talks Wrestling Room Tour. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I like doing this as a yearly thing, obviously, to show you guys, but also just to see myself. It's always interesting going back and watching the video from the year prior to do my research to see how much has actually changed. Obviously, when you make changes in your room, you don't really notice them uh, until you have it documented on video where you go through and you're like, Oh my God, this has changed and this has changed. I didn't have this last year. And it's, it's just an interesting, cool thing for me to see. So I continue to do, keep doing it every single year. And hopefully I can keep that up going forward as well. But once again, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.